This is Mark Lanigan. You're watching Heavy Consequence on Consequence of Sound. So you recently announced the upcoming release of a new Mark Lanigan band album, Somebody's Knocking. What can you tell me a little bit about the musical direction of the album? Uh, it's like rock with like electronic uh, elements. I've sort of been into that for the last 10 years or so. But it's, uh, you know, catchy, sort of uh, three and a half minute long songs with a couple of like six minute long disco tunes. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Cool, well you released uh, a very fun video for the uh, single uh, Stitch It Up. Uh, can you talk about that video a little bit? I, I got a kick out of that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm friends with uh, Joe Cardamone, who used to be the singer of the Icarus Line great Los Angeles band and now he directs and uh, we had some friends over for dinner and another friend of mine is Donald Logue he's an actor he played Jimmy the cab driver on the early MTV in the early 90s and uh, Joe just had this idea to have Donald sort of reprise his his role and um, pick up different versions of me around the city and uh, you know, it was all just not scripted. I was laughing all day long. Everything Donald said in character was really funny. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Cool, cool. And uh, I like—I really like this song "Axis" that you did with Mark Morden from Lamb of God. And I spoke with him when the album came out, and he said like you were one of his vocal heroes, and he was just like, just super thrilled to have you on board. Can you just talk about? kind of how that came about and just and the song itself yeah I just got done playing that song over at uh, one of these other stages with Mark uh, um, you know he just asked me if I would uh, you know write a singing part and some lyrics for this song and I was uh, I was totally psyched to do it I wasn't I wasn't really aware of Lamb of God until I read Randy's book and then I started listening to their music and of course, you know, blew my mind. So, and then right almost as I was getting into them, I got this, you know, call from Mark. So it was pretty exciting. I, I love the song and uh, love Lamb of God. So. I wanted to go back. You've had a long relationship with Queens of the Stone Age. Over the years, you were um, either a member of the band or a contributor to the band. I just, you know, can you talk about one, your kind of uh, relationship with Josh and you think we'll see any further collaborations in the future? You'd have to ask Josh, you know, I'm just there when he calls. Um, he started when he was 24, he played guitar in my old band, Screaming Trees. And then when that came to an end, he started the Queens. And uh, I just started, you know, singing with them on the records and then started touring with them. And then was like a full-time member when we had three singers doing a third of the set uh, and uh, yeah I think I, I think I was on every record except for the l latest one and the first one which he asked me to be on but I was indisposed <laughs> but yeah I love the Queens um, I just was talking to Josh yesterday we're having lunch Tuesday <laughs> you mentioned the screaming trees and I always f feel like you know, you guys were one of those bands that were appreciated more after you were in a band than you were when you were a band. I didn't realize there was appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I realize there's people out there that uh, like the music. It's something that I sort of left in its place, its time and place, and I don't, uh, I don't really look back at it too often. Everywhere else besides the United States, I'm known for the other things I do. Yeah. Queens, for instance, yeah. my solo stuff, other projects that I've done. Um, and, and I'm glad, you know. I mean, to be saddled to something that you did 20 years ago would be a bummer. Yeah. And I've luckily sort of transcended that. I appreciate the people. There's people out there that love the music and and I'm glad it exists, but I'm, I'm glad I don't have to sing it anymore either.